welcome uh, to Walk on Wall Street, our final update on the markets uh, before we head into the weekend. And uh, stocks obviously fell yesterday. That's the S&P 500 declining yesterday, uh, finding support at 3,000. Futures have been rallying um, throughout uh, well, overnight in Asia and then continued through the rest of today. Europe is higher. The FTSE is up at 61.50. Um, there is uh, obviously a bit of a pullback here, but it does rather look, if you look on that hourly chart, it has the impression one feels of a um, um, bullish, uh, sorry, bearish, um, bearish uh, flag. Um, formation here. Um, let me see if I can draw this. Uh, uh, on here for you. Um, if we just add another one here. There you can sort of see what I mean there. Uh, bearish flag uh, uh, pattern. Um, You've got this region around here, 29.75, uh, the lows there, and indeed down to sort of 29.55, I think was an area that, that some analysts have been talking about. That's uh, that high from here. Um, that sort of move lower um, could continue on down to 2,800. I think that's that's got to be a, a, a reasonable uh, a reasonable level to be considering if you are uh, looking um, uh, if you are bearish, um, bulls aiming f to bounce back. Um, if you look here on the daily chart, we've got um, you can see here uh, just resting on that 200 a uh, moving average, simple moving average. Um, so if we can hold that 200 day line, then it's looking a bit more positive. Uh, the FTSE um, trying to reclaim this. Um, this uh, channel that we've been in. So you can see very clear move below the channel and then a very clear attempt to break through it today. And if we look here on the hourly, you can really see we're just having come through that yesterday and we've come up hard today. Um, but that that level is just out of reach at the moment and we are just starting to, to hold now as we enter the end of the, the trading week. Um, Tesla shares, uh, keep your eye on those ones. If it's a couple of downgrades, um, they were off yesterday, below a thousand again. Um, Euro dollar here, trading just below 113, testing this 200 hour moving average here. Very clear, uh, very clear support being offered. Um, and it, as it has done before here at the start of this uptrend, um, and now testing that level uh, upside capped by this 50 day line here. Um, cable. Um, has fallen through there, tried to recover, but then bounced off below again that 200 day, 200 hour moving average. Um, and now on the daily chart, you can see we've come sharply through that 200 day moving average and uh, now trading below the 20, uh, 126.30 support. And uh, uh, having tried to get back through that today, it's failed. So, um, look a bit bearish there in the pound, big risks ahead, Bank of England next week, um, Brexit talks. Uh, uh, stumbling and a uh, big high level call scheduled for um, Monday morning. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that one. Otherwise, uh, as I say, risk, risk is back on today though overall. Uh, we'll look to see if that can hold into the close or if the, uh, or if the broader markets uh, start to hand back those gates. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching.